Hello, Virgo. Uh, welcome. This is your um, monthly reading for the month of April 2021. Uh, I have laid out the cards for you, so we're ready to begin. I'll just uh, make a note that this is the uh, Vox Arcana Tarot uh, deck. If you would like to see a review of this, I have uploaded one. And the three cards that were, I have pulled in the, um, the energy from your general yearly reading. So this is the season of spring. And that was done with the Light Shears Tarot deck. I have uploaded a review of this one as well. So you can go check that out. Now, as I already said, uh, over here we have the energies from your yearly reading. So this is the spring of season. If you haven't watched that, you can go always and watch it or rewatch it if you need. And um, what we're doing here is we have um, March, April, May. And uh, in the middle, we will be exploring the general energy of the month. So the general energy of the month is the, like the background, <coughs> excuse me, noise that you get throughout the month. It's something that you cannot really escape from. Uh, that's just the energy that supports you. So you have to work with it uh, more or less, even if you like it or not. No choice there. However, if you learn how to work with it, then you will have the best possible outcome uh, given the circumstances. All right. So we're seeing you coming in from uh, March and there is a general reading for March. If you haven't watched that, you can go watch it. And um, if you haven't watched the love reading for uh, March, you can also go watch uh, that one as well. Okay, so we, we see you coming in with um, an energy that is a little bit, and we see that throughout the month as well. So you're holding on to whatever energy you had in March and you're bringing that into April, which is not a very... Um, good energy to have if you have projects that need to be executed over here we see that you're a little bit tired of uh, trying to put things together of making things work uh, of um, creating performing uh, in general you're not in a very good state when it comes to execution so you're you're lacking a little bit of vitality <laughs> at this time this is a good thing um, given the, that uh, this month, the energy that supports you is um, this energy of the rebirth. So you are at a point that you don't have energy because you're slowing down to let go of things so that you can initiate new um, projects and start on your new, let's say, life. Now, over here, we see that you care more about the tangible, the real things in your life. So it might be a good time to evaluate uh, relationships, work, uh, career, uh, perspectives, uh, ideas, attitudes, habits, rituals, everything. Just put everything on the table and trying to see what works, what doesn't work, and try to figure out where you want to go. So set your goals and try to achieve them, given that you know how you will get there. So you need to know which um, path. To choose now because you have been so tired throughout the process of the past year and probably past, past months we see that you're here um more vulnerable and you're asking for um maybe help you have different options in front of you and you want to figure out how to do things so you need a little bit of a guidance a little bit of support a little bit of love and it's okay to feel like that you're just in a transitional period in your life and it's good to feel distraction and needing people to be around for support now when it comes to love and relationships we're not going to go deep because we're going to have a march uh, love um reading which i'm gonna which i'm gonna be uploading pretty soon so subscribe to see that uh what we're seeing here when it comes to your love and relationships is that you you are you're holding on do you see that it's the same card different deck you're holding on to this energy that you're so tired you're so frustrated it's like you're emotionally you're you're to the point that you cannot take anymore you just want someone to get you out of that to uh, give some spark in your life to bring some inspiration some some something to dream of to dream about to think of the next day as something different than what you're used to because you're so um bored of the situation because you feel that it's overwhelming you with emotions and you want something fresh something new and that's why we're getting the energy of the rebirth so you want to get out of this energy and we'll see how you're going to do that when we do the reading for love now let's go to your career 
So when it comes to your career and your work, we see that uh, you're trying to bring things together. So it's one of the areas that it seems to be working out, although you have postponed a lot of things and you have um, uh, stopped working on specific uh, projects or tasks or aspects or variations or um, canceled out direction, goals. So it's, it's, uh, you're trying to make things work by isolating um, certain difficulties and working on whatever you feel that you can perform at your best. Now, the thing here is that if you want to get into full completion, you need to find ways to bring everything up to date. So you cannot, be, you cannot have a project that is lacking on its different um, aspects, let's just say. You have to bring everything into the same um, level so that everything flows together or else everything's going to be pulling you back and you will feel that hard work, that effort, that, that um, all that, that you're putting in that, that just doesn't pay off. But that is just the way that you um, come across um, when it comes to your work. So you can ask for help over here. If, you, if there's tasks that you really don't want to do them, ask for help or ask for someone to do parts of it. So you don't have to do everything. So that is something that you can um, do when it comes to your work. Now, when it comes to your money and your wealth, we see over here that you have a lot of uh, things coming up that you can handle. Right now, you might be a little bit emotional about your uh, money and your uh, wealth in general. But what we're seeing here is that you need to make um, the relationships be um, true, be just be fair, be nice. And what I'm trying to say here is that because you have this relationship up here with your um, career, that certain things are slowing down or even are not working at all for you. So you're just letting them on the side. What happens is not, that you're not getting all the, words, the rewards that you could. So if you're expecting a bonus to come in, maybe you're not getting the full uh, thing. Or if you're expecting a loan to get approved, maybe you're not um, putting all the information in that you need to get the approval. So there is things missing. So even in your wealth, however, you can make things happen, but it's just you don't want to take the time to do it right now because you're so overwhelmed and you feel like you, you don't want to deal with anything else. But in order to close down whatever you have so that you can proceed you need to do the little task you need to do the things that you just are not interested in or pass it over give it to someone else to do it for you just get it done and get it out of the way so you're well you won't have a problem as long as you work the proper way and you do the things that you need to do even you or someone else now when it, when we go to the outcome of the month you see that it's more victorious it seems more successful the completion that you have set your ground and you know now where you're going and there's success coming we see you going into may with a, a lot of um, energy of making things happen you have set your mind with the goals so you're clean clearing out the energy and starting to perform not to the maximum but you're starting to get there and we see that you're kind of starting to multitask and trying to do a lot of things together. Whereas here you wouldn't want to do anything because you were so tired. Then you realize things don't work like that. And you just had to go back and find a way of make them happen by doing it probably with a different, um, different way. So that's good because you're being very innovative in your ways. Um, you will have a good month, it seems, for uh, May. But we will see that when we get there. Now, um, that was your uh, reading for the month. Uh, I don't think I want to add anything else because it seems that we have talked about everything. There's a love reading coming up. I have a bonus coming up this month for you, which is amazing. So subscribe so that you can get that. And there's other things. Um, I'm uploading every single day something. So stay here. <laughs> well, it was nice having you here and doing this reading for you. I certainly appreciate everything that you do for me. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.